Here are the tests on my 1992 Universal Rundle Atlas. It is set to the water line on the original flush valve and it is using a standard flapper. Let's give this a flush and see how it does on tests. I just can't imagine that performing well on tests or normal use. First, let's see if it can take a washcloth. The trapway I think is big enough to take this even though the flush is short. It did well, but that flush is just terrible. I'm going to try that test one more time just to see if I can clog it on a washcloth. Did awesome. I mean, it did the same as it did before and I think it did pretty well. So I guess it's time to move on to the next test. Let's see if this toilet can take a grocery bag. It's not going to. It's going to get it into the trap, but it's not going to have enough water to pass it through. Wow. That's pretty bad. I wonder how this thing did on normal use. I'm going to fill it all the way up to the top of the flush valve and I'm going to see if it can take it like that. And if it doesn't, I will be pretty disappointed. So let's hope it does. It struggled, but it passed. Now let's see if it can take the washcloth and the grocery bag together. There is absolutely no way. I'm impressed. It actually got further than just the bag. I think the weight of the washcloth on top of the bag is why it did that. So I'm going to wait for that tank to refill and it appears to already be done. And I'm going to see if it can take it with the handle held down. It actually did even worse that time. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. Now let's see if it can take a dish towel. Why am I even doing this? No suction power whatsoever. I'm going to hold the handle down and angle it and I'm going to see if that is enough to make it go through to see if it can physically take it or if it just can't. Nope. So I would say that the performance is not very good. It did take both the washcloth and the bag, but the flush is just so weak. 
Obviously that can be fixed with a taller overflow tube and a higher water line, but if it's if it's going by how they designed it, then it's just junk. Now let's see if it can take dirt. I think the bowl clearance is going to be some of the worst I've ever seen. It's going to leave some right here, but it's going to get the rest of it from around the sides. So, I don't know how an open room toilet leaves a spot like that. That's just weird. Like I was expecting, it did leave quite a lot around this area and the bowl clearance is just terrible so around this side it really did pretty well because it is an open room toilet and all of the water goes through the rim but overall i would definitely never install one of these toilets so it's an interesting thing to find an early 1.6 gallon toilet like this it really is honestly because you can see just how far toilets have come since they made those regulations on the water consumption and it honestly makes me glad that we have better toilets these days than they did back in the 90s so anyway that is about all for these tests if you enjoy my videos please subscribe and turn on notifications it helps my channel a lot and i really appreciate it thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video Thank <laughs> you.